uh, I'm talking with Ray, uh, Raymond uh, Thoman and Maria, his wife. Uh, Maria, are you here from Tulum? I'm from Veracruz. Oh, you're from Veracruz, yeah. okay. And how, how did you end up in Tulum with, uh, with Raymond? Raymond, uh, we met each other in Playa del Carmen. Okay. Yeah, and very easy, very nice, you know, situation. And uh, since then we are together and we are very happy together. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so you've been here for 14 years. You started off doing uh, real estate uh, uh, with a, Re a Remax franchise. I, guess? I bought a uh, Remax franchise. Okay, and uh, since then you've sold real estate here. What else have you done here? Sold real estate. Prior to that, I had a factory in Central Mexico when before I moved to Tulum. Okay, and uh, what else do you do here in Tulum? In Tulum, we are now in the house building business. We're contractors. We're doing a development out on the Coba Highway. Okay. And property and management. Pro property management. Okay. I like it. Raymond, what, what, why are you here after 14 years? What's special about Tulum? The Tulum is mystical. Okay. One of the reasons Tulum is mystical, we sit between the two largest underground river systems in the world that one converges on the south end of town and one on the north end of town. Okay. And with all this flowing water, it creates an energy field. You can go to the beach after a bad day and sit down for an hour or two. It feels like you were injected with jet fuel. It's just totally unbelievable. The other thing is there's hundreds of things to do as far as mother nature. It just never ends. I've been in the area 26 years and it just touched the surface. It's just so much, if, if you like mother nature and beautiful cenotes and the ocean and uh, just traveling around the Yucatan Peninsula, there's so much to see, never ends. Um, after 14 years, do you have any regrets? I would do it over again tomorrow. <laughs> okay. What would you tell people who are perhaps interested in coming to live in this area? There, if you're looking for to make a living, it is unlimited opportunities. If you're looking to retire, it's a very nice laid back community where there's very little stress. There's not a lot of people here now, but I mean, if you want to go to the movie, it's not here. You, but we're close enough to Playa del Carmen. You can get in the car and be in the, at the movie in 35 minutes. So we have the best of both worlds. Okay, um, what are what are some of the opportunities uh, you see that are that are still open for people who would come to Tulum now? Tulum pretty well is a new pueblo. Now we're, I'm guessing the population. I don't think anybody knows it's fourteen thousand, but the business opportunities are here are unlimited. It just depends on your uh, imagination. I think I'm an entrepreneur, and I look at the, there's just so many. I can't do everything. And, and, you could from bicycle rental to uh, dealer, dealer, car dealers. To yeah, because there's no no car dealers. Yeah. Yes. No car, the any just any the uh, fumigation companies. It's in, well, we have plenty of insects, so <laughs> <laughs> that would you always have. Something so like you you, uh, you there you say there's like a lack of services here. Or is totally, that for tourism totally or lack for of lack of services and second lack of good services? Mm -hmm. They're uh, there really you can't buy any furniture here you can have it made but uh, as far as borrowing nice furniture it's not available uh, paintings and furnishings for houses none available and there's a lot of construction going on here apartments houses people need these things mm -hmm. okay so uh, if you weren't already too busy doing your real estate related uh, uh, what might you do interior decorating but mm -hmm. i'm not an maria would be the interior decorator but we're, we're doing it now mm -hmm. we don't really have time and it's time consuming but we've decorated probably 30 apartments this year okay um anything else you'd like to say about living in tulum tulum is special i would not that it's not for everybody it's more like the wild west down here but for if you're adventurous Tulum's the spot. Okay. You do not have to know Spanish in Tulum. I've gotten by with my Spanish is pretty weak, and I've been here 26 years and been pretty successful. 
Okay. How about you, uh, Maria? Any last thing you'd like to say about living in Tulum? Um, Tulum is magic. It's charming and has, you know, the, the we are very, we have um, about nature, we have everything. We have uh, ocean, we have cenotes, we have lagoons, mm -hmm. we have um, jungle. So we, we are in a very nice paradise. Sounds like uh, if you're a nature lover, this yes. is the place to be. This is the spot. Okay. Thank you very much for your quick and short interview. Thank you. Thank you.